parts of this planet that have yet to be explored even right off the coast of Southern California. In this Earth 8 report, Neda Rampur shows us what's lurking in the deep sea and why it matters. There's an area off the Southern California coast known as borderlands, rich in minerals made up of deep canyons, ridges, seamounts, dating back seven to 10 million years. And it's the deep sea that has scientists on board the vessel Nautilus on a mission, sending remotely operated vehicles known as ROVs to explore uncharted areas up to 190 miles offshore. The ROVs are sent down nearly 6,000 feet. That's about a mile underwater. We spoke with the lead scientist and biological oceanographer Lisa Levin from Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Over the years, I've come to understand that most of this planet is actually deep sea, and it's the part of the planet we know the least about. She's been diving, exploring, and providing valuable insight on the underwater world for more than four decades. The deep sea is the most magnificent place in the world. Every time we go down, we see new things that nobody's seen before, and... and discover new species and new ways that animals live. It's a nice rock. Can we zoom well, in kinda, and take thin, a picture though, right? of the creatures? They're a little brittle it's got star. got a bit of brittle star. What else has it got? Some sponge. Some foraminifera, arborescent foraminifera on the surface. On this particular mission, scientists were able to view sea creatures like a glass sponge. Uh, yeah, okay, zoom out and sea urchins. They took samples of a few rocks and sea life like these oh, mushroom cool. coral. Wow. wow. Well done. Sea anemone and brittle stars were plentiful and so were big orange starfish that appeared to live upside down. They made eight successful dives on this cruise, each dive new discoveries. I was really impressed by the fact that every single place we went was different from the last place. It mattered, the rock formations mattered, the how far offshore we were mattered. And I think the history and the effects of low oxygen, there were a lot of influences on what we saw. Scientists from around the world could watch all of this through a Nautilus live stream. Wow, that's a big sponge. But this is about much more than fascinating images. Researchers hope this helps with big policy decisions because another appeal of the deep sea would be the nickel and cobalt, yeah, copper and other elements that are in high demand, especially for green energy. What's found in the rocks could help build electronics, car batteries, solar panels and wind turbines. But as Levin says, it's important to learn what lives at the bottom of the ocean before anyone considers mining here. For News 8, I'm Nettie Iranpour.